Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com and ElectronicLessons.com. I've been eager as a beaver to show you this fun new board. I've created this board that uh, it's essentially customizable. I, and, and pretty much any project I can think of uh, within reason I can do on this printed circuit board. I'll give you a better look at it in a minute, but in the meantime, uh, for those of you who watch my videos, you might be uh, acquainted with one of my recent projects, which is a, uh, a solar tracker. It's a very basic solar tracker. Uh, uh, it uses three analog to digital converters on a single uh, pick, five volts, and uh, three light sensor circuits all on here. And a servo motor is resting in a servo motor. You can't see it right now, but let me give you a demonstration. Plug it in. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to this. Uh, I'm going first. I'm going to tweak the software. Well, actually, later I'm going to tweak the software um, so that there's more steps. So there's about ten steps right now. There's five steps, which is, makes it a little bit finicky. I'm going to make it so that it's uh, five steps or ten steps rather. But um, actually, what I'm going to show to you today, I just unplugged it, is I'm going to put this on a. Uh, on my custom board, get rid of all the wires, and I'm really going to be able to do it in about 10 minutes. So I'm going to solder it up, and I'll show you the difference cosmetically and how it looks. So in 10 minutes time, I took the circuitry off the uh, breadboard and plugged it into my custom PCB that has, uh, I put, put the microcontroller in, my 5 volt regulator circuit, uh, I've created a 3 pin header that has 5 volts ground and signal going to my uh, stepper motor, I can unplug it and plug it back in with these. And I've got the three I.O. ports that are connected to the light sensor circuits connected to the back, to the to th uh, three relative uh, ADC pins. And I've got one I.O. port connected to the signal line of the s servo motor. So I'll just give you another demonstration to show that it still works. Now this it literally only took me 10 minutes to uh, to work with it because the board is fully customizable. I can do so much stuff with it, and I figured this would be a good introduction project. Uh, I'm just I'm going to power it up, show you this still works, and then I'll give you a close up of the uh, the proto board that I'm going to be using to make uh, hopefully 30 or 40 kits. I should have made the wires just a little bit longer because it's carrying the board with it. Anyway, still works. So now let me show you the uh, let me show you the proto board. This is it, or rather. That's it. That was two perforated edges. Strong little board. Since you probably can't see much of the writing on here, let me just give you a quick introduction. It features a PIC-18 chip, a power supply circuit with, a filter, with filtering and uh, or smoothing and decoupling capacitor, two optional buttons, pull-ups and pull-downs for uh, eight sets of inputs. Optional inputs, you can still use them as outputs. Optional relay option with thick traces to an output... Uh, to a sorry a, a three-pin terminal block output, optional buzzer option, LED uh, eight-bit LEDs. The port B is a uh, port B output is uh, eight-bit, so I can uh, I can bring eight-bit information in or out. Uh, I also have the option of hooking up LEDs, but not necessarily powering them. If I connect the these two pins called LED enable, then it basically connects the LEDs to ground. Uh, and if I wanted to add a switch there, I can essentially let the LEDs, you know, turn the LEDs on or off whenever. Now, the LEDs might not be on anyway, but say I want to use an analog to digital port or a feed and see what the 8-bit binary output is. Uh, I make that connection, 
and I can see the LEDs. Uh, but to save power, then I, I disconnect the connection. I can't see the LEDs. But that logic is still going to the port B output. Uh, port A output, 8-bit, with a 5-volt and uh, ground pin. Port B output with a 5, uh, five volts and ground pin. Prototyping area. With uh, all the rails on the top are 5 volts, it's labeled, and all of the rails on the bottom are ground. Uh, that's going to be a really, really integral part of how this will be customizable. Uh, yeah, so it's really, re I'm really going to have a lot of fun with this. I hope that you guys follow along with some of the new videos I'll be making with this. Uh, I've also got another kit on the way that I'm going to show you that's not with using this PCB. It's actually using this. Uh, and this is a, uh, an analog to digital converter kit. And it's also a, co a comparator kit. So anyway, I just want to introduce that to you, and uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you again. Uh, if you liked the video, please subscribe. I got lots of ton I got lots of DIY kits available at engineeringshot.com and electroniclessons.com. Take care, everyone.